Unexpected kindness is the most powerful, least costly, and the most underrated agent of human change. So be kind to others and see how much it changes your life and others' life. Welcome folks, Monopoly Stocks here. Today, we'll be talking about the most successful series of our channel, which is the Market Watch List. We'll be talking about the upcoming Catalyst, upcoming FDA approvals, major earnings and announcements for the week of April 19th. So stay with us. I'll see you right after this. Welcome back folks. Before getting started with the today's presentation, I would like to thank uh, everybody who has subscribed to us. We're already reaching 650 plus subscribers. We just started a month ago. So thanks for your love and support. And also a lot of people are watching but not subscribing. So please do take a second to subscribe to us and also press that like button when you're there. On the other hand folks, there is uh, another mass shooting in Indiana. If you see anything unusual, with uh, your neighbors, with your family and friends also. Just make sure, talk to them or even go to the concerned authorities. In this way, we can try and at least stop these mass shootings from happening. This is almost the 146th one which happened in this year. Be careful when you're out there. So let's get right into the market watch list for next week. Before getting started with the market watch list for next week, let's see what happened to our market watch list of last week. In the last week, we mentioned uh, Signet Jewelers, ticket symbol SIG. This went up from $57 to $67. And we mentioned KKR and Co, ticket symbol KKR. This went up from $50 to $54. And we have mentioned Faith Therapeutics. This went from $75 to $87. So our market watch list strategy is two words, investor safe. There is a lot of companies which have catalysts, but we pick few companies which has best fundamentals, their least volatility, their unique stocks, and also we always mention their upcoming catalyst and the date. And we always keep in mind their long-term investment. So let's get right into the upcoming catalyst. The first one is for April 20, which is Advanced Auto Parts, ticker symbol AAP. The current price is $192.92, and the 52-week high is $193.17, and the 52-week low is $110.96. So at 10 a.m., Advanced Auto Parts is going to have their update on its strategic business plan. The executive leadership team will discuss the company's progress on its transformation initiatives and provide updates on long-term strategic objectives. So the net profit margin of this company is about 4.9% and the forward PE is about 17.34. The company is a part of S&P 500 and the market cap of this company is $12.6 billion. The revenue of the company in 2019 is $9.7 billion and in 2020 is about $10.1 billion. We also see the EV sector is growing. So if Advanced Auto Parts can uh, adapt themselves to the EV sector, this has a very long-term future for them. So just keep this on your watch list. And the next catalyst is also for April 20, which is for Apple, ticket symbol AAPL. And the current price is $134.16. And the 52-week high is $145.9. cents and uh, 52 week low is 66.36 cents. Apple is having at about 1 p.m. a event called Spring Loaded to show off the new products. So there is a chance the company could reveal the new products for Apple iPads, iMacs, AirPods, AirTags, and also Apple TV and possibly Apple Pencil also. And also Apple is going to announce uh, something regarding their silicon chips. This uh, could affect other stocks, uh, Intel, ticker symbol INTC, and also for Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturer Company, ticker symbol TSM. So if you are invested in these companies, just uh, keep an eye for that. And there is a chance it can even talk about their Apple cards. It's a long shot, but uh, if they announce anything regarding the Apple cards, this uh, price could shoot up really high. So keep Apple on your watch list. So this is for the next day, April 21st. The first stock is uh, Duke Energy, and the ticker symbol is DUK. The current price 
of this is $100.67 and the 52 week high is $101.13 and 52 week low is $77.58. So it's an all day event. So the, the public service commission of South Carolina holds a virtual public hearing on Duke Energy of Carolinas and Duke Energy progress. So Duke Energy long range plans for their generating plants in the state has met the opposition and the net profit of this company is 5.3 percent. The current PE is 58.60 and the forward PE is 58.60. The debt of this company is really high. The asset is 0.3 times the liability. It doesn't have the greatest fundamentals but uh, keep in mind this has a high market cap which is 77.5 billion dollars and the revenue of this company is 25 billion dollars in 2019 and uh, in 2020 they did about 23 billion dollars and 9% uh, of Duke Energy is renewable and the company might have a lot of opposition if generation plants is non-renewable and also keep in mind this is also a play when the Bitcoin is going high super high like uh, the all the energy companies not uh, just Duke a lot of other energy companies their revenue will grow because uh, mining Bitcoin is going to take a lot of uh, electric consumption so just keep that in mind so when the cryptocurrency is going high we also have a chance of this all these uh, electric companies stock price going high and the next uh, catalyst is also for the same day for Intel the current price is uh, $64.75 the 52 week high is $68.49 and uh, 52 week low is $43.61 the ticker symbol is INTC. So at 10 10 a.m. Intel Senior Director Massimo Varita gives a talk on network infrastructure for AI and 5G at Langley Spring Professor Conference of 2021. The processing conference features a technical presentation all week that could draw attention of analysts. Remember also with the uh, Biden's uh, infrastructure plan for the internet the plan has about 100 billion dollars of incentives so this could uh, also give a lot of uh, attention to intel if their uh, strategic plans include anything regarding the high speed internet and, and also keep in mind if apple announcement uh, on the ic chips uh, this week might also impact uh, intel stock the company's net profit is about 26.8 percent and the forward pe is 13.73 and the current PE is 13.10. The asset is 1.9 times the liabilities. It has great fundamentals. The market cap is uh, $263 billion and the revenue in 2019 is uh, $71 billion and in 2020 is $77 billion. And also for the same day, we have uh, at 11 a.m. NGM Resorts, ticker symbol MGM and e -tain. This is a OTC stock, ticker symbol GMHFV, along with their US venture bet MGM will host a business update event for analysts and investors. The event will provide deeper insights into the rapidly growing US sports betting and iGaming business for bet MGM. A new forecast on this industry, total addressable market could uh, be a share price uh, catalyst for a uh, lot of other stocks in this gaming industry which is uh, DraftKings, Penn National uh, as well. Uh, ticker symbol for DraftKings is DKNG and the Penn National is PENN. So keep this under your radar because anything regarding this addressable market for the gaming industry this could affect the prices of these stocks too. And uh, the current price for uh, DKNG is 57.98. Penn National is uh, 99.94 and uh, MGM is 40.26. DKNG has the most uh, best fundamentals of these stocks and also with the uh, ARK investment uh, heavily invested in this, the price could shoot up very high on this. And uh, also we have for the same day catalyst for Facebook. Current price is uh, $306.18, 52-week high is uh, $315.88, and 52-week uh, low is $168.34. So at 6 p.m., Facebook is having the virtual reality arm Oculus is planning its first ever VR gaming showcase with participants including Cloudhead, 
Games, Vertigo Games and Ready at Dawn and ILMX Lab. So Facebook also is going to release something regarding their uh, VR games along with their titles and footage into the upcoming games. With this event, Facebook will have a really good impact and also with the gaming industry being very hot, this could impact the Facebook price. The next uh, catalyst is for uh, April 23rd for company Koti, ticket symbol C-O-T-Y. The current price is $9, the 52-week high is $9.60 and 52-week low is $2.65. So at 8 a.m. Koti holds a strategic update webcast earlier this week. Koti completed the acquisition of 20% ownership interest in uh, Kim Kardashian West uh, business and consolidate some of their company fragrance manufacturing operations. The forward PE of this company is 40. The market cap is about $6.99 billion. The company has no net margin currently, but uh, with all their changes recently, they've been doing a lot of uh, changes in their company, how the business plan and uh, they have uh, also reduced their cost in a lot of fragrance manufacturing and everything. And, uh, and the revenue also went down for this company to $6.2 billion in 2019 to $4.7 billion in 2021. The pandemic had a lot of effect on this company, so we had to keep that in mind. And uh, this company doesn't have a lot of great fundamentals. However, with this uh, webcast announcement, the price could affect a whole lot for this company. And also, since the, the price is under 10, there are a lot of investors will be watching this, so it is easy for this price to shoot up very high. At one point, the stock price was almost 30 plus dollars. And uh, the next segment is for the biotech announcement and FDA approvals. The first uh, catalyst is for uh, April 20th. And uh, this is for company Syndax. The ticker symbol is SNDX. The current price is $20.41 and the 52-week high is $27.85 and 52-week low is $10.13. Syndex Pharmaceuticals host a conference call to provide updated data from their phase one dose and escalation portion of the ongoing phase argument and 101 trial of SNDX5613 patients and uh, relapsed and refractory acute leukemia. This company doesn't have a lot of uh, good fundamentals. However, this catalyst uh, could have a positive effect on this price. So keep this uh, Syndex, ticket symbol SNDX on your watch list. And the next uh, catalyst is for uh, April 22nd for the company TRYP Therapeutics. And the current price is 52 cents and the 52 week high is $1.04 and 52 week low is 45 cents. And it's a OTC stock. At 9 a.m. it hosts his quarterly investor day the company will include updates on his neuropsychiatric disorders program, chemistry, manufacturing and control activities, intellectual properties, filing and uh, its vision for 2021 and beyond. This microcap company just started trading on uh, OTC Venture uh, this earlier week. But however, with their uh, intellectual property filings, this could be a game changer for this company. So keep this uh, on your watch list. And the next catalyst for, is for uh, April 23rd for uh, Solgel Technologies, ticker symbol SLGL. The current price of this stock is uh, $14.26 and 52 week high is $16.96 and uh, 52 week low is $7. It is the last business day before the FDA action date for Solgel Technologies, a plosive for the treatment of inflammatory lesions. And uh, the company is established in 1997 and is an Israel-based company. So anything regarding this uh, company on this particular day, on this FDA action, this could affect the uh, stock price. So keep this on your watch list. And also for the same day, we have an all-day event for uh, j and &J vaccine update. So recently they had some uh, problem with the uh, J vaccine and they have recalled it. So they are holding a FDA and CDC meeting on j and &J vaccine and this could be a big uh, thing for economy in general anything bad about this vaccine could affect uh, people taking vaccines in general so just uh, keep an eye for that day this could affect the stock market in general
however uh, they're still giving the moderna vaccine and uh, pfizer vaccine with the 90 plus percent uh, success rate so just keep this uh, in general okay and the next thing we have notable earnings for next week and this is a screenshot for uh, next week uh, for april 19th uh, upcoming uh, earnings so there are a lot of uh, big companies uh, which are giving their earnings next week which includes coca-cola ibm netflix we have chipotle we have snap at&t intel and american express honeywell i mean there are a lot of other companies uh, which are giving uh, their earnings next week and we will be mentioning about this earnings uh, in our daily wrap up so don't forget to subscribe to us to see for uh, daily announcements and catalyst so we release this video on daily basis so uh, from monday to thursday so make sure you subscribe in that way you don't need to miss these videos also for april 20th pre-market we had hardly uh, davidson hawk reporting their earnings with option trading implying this uh, could go almost nine percent up or down and for april 21st pre-market we have lamb research corporation ticker symbol lrcx is scheduled to report their earnings this company has delivered about 12 straight eps beats and topped their earnings estimates with nine of the last 12 reports keep an eye for this uh, silicon motion technologies simo which delivers 16 of its uh, revenue from lamb and trades in tandem with 88 uh, percent of times after the earnings and throughout the week we have a high level volatility implied by option trading for xl feed ticker symbol xl and also for lordstone motors ticker symbol ride and also we have elated short interest heading for the next week for beyond meat ticker symbol bynd and for mace rich ticker symbol mac so that's it for today guys and uh, make sure you do subscribe because we do do this daily wrap-up videos in this we always mention the next day catalyst and how to be prepared for the next day so we do this uh, video every day uh, from monday to thursday and we release it uh, about uh, 8 p.m to 9 p.m so watch out for this you don't want to miss this and this series has made a lot of investors a lot of money and also we are working on a couple of high growth stocks so make sure you subscribe and always remember please be good to each other thank you